we had a bit of a triumphant moment here at Ivan Expert the other day. We measure triumph in our ability to solve problems that there don't seem to be easy solutions to. That's, that's like my favorite thing. And uh, we did that the other day with um, a Mac OS X server installation. You can buy a Mac mini server. It's a tiny little computer and it can sit practically anywhere. Now the thing is about a server is that you don't really need or even want a screen or keyboard attached to it. It's a waste, especially if it's a Mac Mini and it can just be stashed somewhere. But you need to be able to set up the Mac Mini server. And Apple really doesn't make this easy for no good reason that I can figure out. It's easy if you have a screen and keyboard attached. But if you don't, you have the following option. And it's barely documented, really hardly not documented. If you have another copy of Mac OS X server on another computer, you can use its copy of the server application to connect to the freshly started new Mac Mini server. And that will allow you to remotely configure it. However, if you have the server admin tools installed on Mac OS 10.6, you can't, or at least we haven't yet figured out how to. So we had to figure out how to install this server with no screen and keyboard attached to it. Um, now, it does turn out that somebody else figured out a similar technique for Leopard Server several years ago, but I hadn't found that guy's blog post when I figured this out. Basically, and there's a blog post on ivanexpert.com about this, in a nutshell, one, you have to SSH in to the root account of the new server, and the password is the serial number of the Mac Mini that you just bought. Um, then there is a long, obscure command for starting the Apple Remote Desktop, that's the screen sharing um, server, and that command is documented on an Apple Tech Note. Uh, if you search for Kickstart in Apple's tech database, you can find it. So once you've got Apple Remote Desktop server started, you can then use screen sharing on your computer. And by the way, you have to figure out the IP address of the server computer. That's most easily done by looking in the airport or, or router DHCP log. You need that for the root login too. So once you have that, you log in via screen sharing using VNC colon slash slash in um, Connect to Server or Safari with the server IP address. You log in as root and with the full password again. And once you've done that, you can then go through the server setup procedure. When that completes, you'll be on the Lion desktop. The first thing you must do is go into um, system preferences go to remote management, click on options, and make sure that um, observe and control are set. Otherwise, you will not be able to log into the machine remotely again. After that, you can then log in.